everybody welcome back to the brand new video yesterday i stopped off at target i had heard there's new mystery repack boxes on the shelves and there was if we take a look at this freshly stocked target you'll see a whole bunch of update boxes and right below that you'll see these new boxes now they come in at looks like it's 29.99 but it's not it's actually 17.99 for these you see Series 2 from 2023 is the cover pack of the box. These were put together by MJ Holding Company. There's eight packs per box. We're going to buy all of the packs here and see what we can find. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And now let's open them up. All right, everybody. I'm back from Target. And we've got all seven of the boxes here. I heard they were pretty good. Big shout out to Joe Menno, one of my Patreon subscribers on Hawaii, who said this was on the way. So I've actually looked for this box, I think on three different occasions, three different days, and it's taken about a week or so, but finally it popped up, and we're going to check this out. Now, out in Hawaii, they had 2023 Series 2 packs in there, and they also had some older packs, like 2017 Series 1, so maybe we'll have some 2017 packs in here. It'll be really cool. There is some 2018 update in here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of those old hot corner boxes that Target used to have back in the day. Same basic price point. You're looking at $17.99 plus tax on these. So let's go ahead and rip into these and see what we can find. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Hope you're all having a very pleasant Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday, it looks like my lunch boxes from archives will finally be in that case was delayed for whatever reason and also i might also have a retail review for you as well so maybe a lot of archives tomorrow and i also have a throwback thursday i don't know if i can do all three in one video but we'll see also we could potentially do a live stream tonight we're waiting for the archives break to fill if it fills we'll get started i don't know 10 o'clock 10 30 We'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We got Mizzy getting things going here. If you'd like to get a box like this or sponsor a video like this one, we sell all of our spots, all of our break opportunities, live stream breaks, standalone opportunities like this on our Patreon page if you want to check it out. Now, I'm noticing there's a ton of glue on the top. I can't open it from the top. I'm just going to take the easier out and open it from the bottom. There's the packs that we have inside. You get eight packs of cards and they're also giving you top loaders but don't throw the box away so hastily because there's another pack that is kind of wedged up in there and it is going to be a series two retail pack we have series one that's a retail pack there's actually two of those there's a 91 studio pack in there golden age and we've got some top scrum update i wonder what they're going to do with all the top scrum update that was left on the shelves so missy here's your first box let's see if you can find anything good so we're averaging about about two dollars a pack with this product which isn't that bad i think it's a pretty decent pretty decent price point uh, depending on the packs we can find like i said i did buy all of the packs or all the boxes so We'll check it out and see if it's worth it. Series 1, nothing too crazy to get excited about. It used to be the Wander Franco search. Kyle Rowley's a nice rookie card right there. Super tiny rookie logos on there back in 2022. A lot of collectors hated that, and they've since corrected that error and went back to the regular size. There's Key Brian Hayes there as well. We've got these junk packs now, Panini Golden Age. Might as well get these out of the way. We also have the Studio Pack. So here's the Golden Age pack. There's a spacer. It looks like there knows maybe a chance of a relic in there if there's spacers. Don Knotts. And we also have a racehorse as well. Studio from 91. Let's see what we've got going on here. All right. We've got John Smoltz tossing a rosin bag up into the air. And we'll see what else. Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, Jose Leend, my brother's former favorite player. Barry Larkin's in there as well. Steve Finley, and really, with 91 Studio, there's not too much to go crazy about with that product. No decent rookies or anything. Here's Missy's Series 2 pack. We'll see if maybe we can get lucky and find the Corbin Carroll rookie card. There's Jordan Walker, one of the top five guys. Spencer Steer, another top five name from this. And we have a numbered card. It's going to be... White Sox team card number to $7.99. Now, there's a chance of finding autographs in these, the Chrome Update Packs from 2021. 
Now, 2023 Chrome Update is coming out soon, just around the corner. That's going to be way, way better than the last few years. There's a big chase element of those jumbo patch one-of-ones that the players actually wore in the games. They're going to be put into Topps Chrome Update, so I cannot wait to go on the hunt for those. We have a pink wave parallel right there. Unfortunately, no autograph in that first one. Mizzy's got a second box. Let's bring it in and see what we can find in this next one. Box number two. They, they give us those uh, top loaders, which is kind of nice. Let's see what else we have. Is it the same freaking thing? Okay, I hate it. I hate when that happens, when it's the same packs. So we'll check this one out from Izzy. Same packs here. And let's see what we can find in the next go-round. I'm really hoping there's 2017 of these. Have you opened these at your target? I know a lot of you guys have probably already found these. Since they've been out for about a week, there's a Daniel Bard silver foil. What packs are you pulling out of yours? Obviously, Series 2 from 2023 is the cover pack. It looks like in each of these boxes. But what packs are inside? Because out in Hawaii, they had 2017 Tops Series 1 packs with Chris Bryant on the front. That's the Aaron Judge set. All right, here is the 1991 Studio Pack once again. Matt Williams on the top. Terry Pendleton. And Mike Lavalier there as well as Billy Hatcher. Golden Age pack coming up next. And we have a Gabby Hartnett Golden Age card. Another little spacer right there. Lee Majors and the Sphinx. Let's check out the Series 2 pack. I'm really hoping that these aren't all the same. Mizzy up with their second box. And... Nothing going on there. There's an insert at the back end of Bobby Witt Jr. Check out these Chrome Update Packs. And let's see what we can find from Izzy. My big fear is that every single one of these boxes is going to be identical. And have the exact same packs. That's no fun. We need some variation. There's a, another pink. It's going to be Davey Garcia, not numbered. There's Jared Kelnick's rookie card. And... Jazz Chisholm, rookie debut, and Casey Mize, rookie debut as well. So, Mizzy, thank you very much. We'll go ahead and put your name on that stack, move that off to the side, and we'll get into the next box. It's going to be for Jeremy Yepes. Let's see what we can find for you with this next one. Please be different packs. And we have literally the exact same packs again for Jeremy. All right, so to speed it up a little bit, Jeremy, I think maybe, I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe not opening the studio pack since there's really nothing too crazy in there. There's Shohei Otani right there. Kodai Senga. Also there, sorry for the late upload today, by the way. There's Kyle Wispel. I should have filmed this last night, but I didn't get around to it. And then I got injured today, a very public injury. And uh, I'm actually wincing through pain right now. It's probably the worst injury I've had but I can remember, it's, uh, it was very embarrassing, too. A very public, very hard fall I took today. And uh, I landed right on my wallet on my backside, like literally directly on my wallet. My wallet is a George Costanza-style wallet that's super thick. Uh, just, you know, there's cards in there like Dave & Buster cards and Chuck E. Cheese cards and credit cards. So it's it's like a brick. And I landed right on it with all 250 pounds of my weight. And, uh, man, I can barely walk now. <laughs> it's, it's pretty painful. All right, let's see what we can find. I will open the Series 1 pack and just we'll just hope that maybe things will change here. There's George Brett. Wade Boggs. And Chris Hammond in there for Jeremy. The Golden Age pack is next. Then we've got the Chrome Update packs coming at us. When I first saw these, I thought, man, these are great. But if it's all the same packs, it kind of takes a little bit of the fun away. There's Joe Lewis and Gary Carter. Hall of Famer Gary Carter. And let's check these out now for Jeremy. And see if we can get lucky with Chrome Update. Maybe we'll find an autograph. Maybe we won't. We'll see. Jeremy, another pink. Those pinks are roughly one in every 
other pack. Got a Ryan Mountcastle pink rookie card and Nick Maton as well for Jeremy. All right, Jeremy, nothing really new there. Daniel Williams is up next. Let's see what we can find for Daniel here with this next one. Please have different packs. And guess what, folks? Literally the exact same packs. So, Daniel Williams, here's your packs. Let's see what we have. I'm just going to go ahead and see. Just to kind of move things along a little bit. Let's see if they're all the same. Zane has the last three boxes. Zane Zicklin has all these. This box here was a little bit... I don't know if somebody like tampered with this and like looked inside or what. I'm kind of worried about that now. Because this one was kind of like opened up, it looked like. I, I thought that maybe the bo box just got smashed. But there's not a very good security system in play with these. Because look, you can just kind of pop that open. And then, oh, I'll just take a little look in here, you know... Joe Schmo is like, oh, no, no 2017s in there. Let me just go ahead and do that. And boom, see that? So that's, uh, now I'm a little bit, uh, you know, my mind's kind of wandering and being like, did somebody go and check out these boxes and take a peek and take the good ones? I was trying to hit up Target as much as I could, but I don't know. So we have the exact same packs here for Zane as the other boxes. And we'll check out the last one and see what we have in this final box of this video. And as expected, it's the same pack. So I'm going to probably wait to hear your feedback and see if you got different packs in your boxes or if they're all the same as mine. So let's, say, let's check out a couple of these packs right now. Let's go ahead and do, uh, do Zane's here. Let's go ahead and... Do your, I guess we can kind of organize these a little bit, huh, Zane? Got the Series 2s. Let's do all of your update packs right now and check those out. Because I feel like that's probably the best shot at a hit. So, Zane, here we go. It is Tom's Update Chrome Edition. At least now we know this is probably the, uh, the default option out there. Three Chrome Update Packs, which these were, what, $50 a box? And I forget how many packs. Is there $10 or 10 packs? So we're looking at $5 a pack here. So it's nice they're getting rid of these at a you know, decent price. They're paying $2 a pack. Although 2021 Chrome Anniversary, there's nothing too crazy in there unless you really like the pink unnumbered parallels. There's Jonathan India. In there, Tarek Skubal as well. Nick Maton again with Mount Castle. We saw them on, on the pinks earlier. Jazz Chisholm, Casey Mize. I'm just hoping there's an autograph in here. Charlie Morton's there as well. Pujols is in there. Jonathan India, there's a Joe Adele. Man, everybody was high on Joe Adele back in 2021, but he really has not really put it together at all. Let's check out all these Series 2 from, or Series 1 from 2022. Kind of a disappointing release now. This this series, it was so overprinted in the first place. I think this was the first, was this the first release that was just really, really just ballooned up to just insanely high print runs. I think it may have been. All right. I think they've kind of rolled that back a little bit. But I wonder if 2022 Series 1 is the most widely printed product since the Junk Wax era. They've just printed this to the moon. We're just basically seeing if there's going to be any maybe relics or autographs in here. Now those are tough pulls as it is from retail packs. We've got a Mike Trout Star of MLB card in there. And we got a gold card, Chicago White Sox team card there. Nice to find a numbered card. And there's a silver foil of Eliezer Hernandez. And this one is in the books. Aaron Judge is in there. And some more stars of MLBs for Mr. Zane Zicklin. Zane, I'll probably leave the studio packs and Penny. Maybe I should open the gold names. I feel like those might have an autograph or a relic since there's spacers in there. You never know. We might as well open those. There's 91 studios for those, Zane. You can have fun with those. 
Let's check these ones out. Series two, looking for Corbin Carroll. And you can find autographs and relics in these retail packs. There's Christopher Morell. We found a couple hits out of the flagship collection retail packs from Costco. A few relics and I think one autograph. I opened 20 boxes over the last two weeks in the breaks. Josh Young is last one there. So Zane, here's the last hope of getting a, get a hit. It's these golden age packs. Now, you know what? I think $17 is probably a good price point on these. I, I don't know. The retail packs, you're probably not going to get a hit. In fact, a lot of these boxes might not even return your value back at $17 after you open them all up. Another spacer as they continue to fake us out. And there's Charlene Tilton is the last one. All right, Zane, that's your stack. Let's wrap this one up with Daniel Williams. We kind of made him wait a little bit. Sorry about that, Daniel. Let's get into your stuff now and see what we can find. And then we'll see if we get this archives break going tonight. It'll be uh, you know, probably just a round or two, so kind of a short live stream. And I'll probably go sit on a block of ice or something. All right, Daniel, here we go with your three Tops Update Chrome Packs. Bobby Dowback is going to be your pink. Nothing else going on in there. These... 2022 Series 1 packs. they got to give us something good eventually. Let's see if that's going to happen right now. We haven't seen the Wander yet. Wander Franco's rookie card was the real hot card when this first came out. In fact, on release day, the raw Wander, Wander Franco is selling for 50 bucks for a raw card. Now, you couldn't sell that card for 50 cents. There is a, hey, nice, Michael Brantley, Mother's Day out of 50. Pretty nice card right there for Daniel. Always nice to find... Low-numbered cards like that, especially in retail packs. Here's the Series 2 pack. And we've got a Royal Blue of Mackenzie Gore, and there's Showtime in there as well. You can have fun with that studio pack, Daniel, but let's see if we can find something from this Golden Age. Final pack of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll have probably a couple videos for you tomorrow. Here's Yogi Berra with his catchy quote. It's probably a yogiism. What's it say? It's kind of a long quote right there catchy quote and i don't even know if that's his quote or not it's kind of like a whole like paragraph all about him but he was known for yogi yogiisms such as it ain't over till it's over and this one is over so folks thank you very much for watching this target video i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your wednesday we'll probably go live a little bit later tonight maybe a later live stream with some archives i hope you guys have a great rest of your evening and i will see you all later good night everybody